Yeah, I just wanted to talk a little bit about uh, the shape of the boat, the design of the boat. So, from end to end, um, running down through it, if we just do a line here, we can actually see how straight this boat is now. As it drops off at the end, we've got what we call a rocker. So, if, if the ends of the boat drop off, it's got a high rocker. If it's really high, but it's quite flat like this one, that's a very straight rock. Across this way we've got the arch of the boat, so it naturally curves around and we can actually see we've got an arch here. Okay, so we go around this way. So these boats are designed in several ways. You can have you know, something like this, you can have a very flat bottom, you can have an arch that uh, may be shallow or it may get deeper and deeper. Uh, you can have a V shape, so down the bottom you've got a very definite seam in it, and you'll have a shallow V, or you can have much deeper V, and you can have chimes, these lines are called chimes. So what does that mean when we're paddling the boat? It makes quite a bit of difference to the way it handles, especially when tilting the hull. So if we tilt the hull when it's dead flat, then you don't get much rock of it. If you have it over on the side, like if you tilt the side, you can actually see highest point of the boat here, which would be the lowest in the water, which is be right there, there's a lot of rock around here. So the boat would turn very easily when it's on its side. So if I turn this boat over, and it's just sitting there on the hull, you can see that the whole thing sitting on the hull, there's not much rock in it. If I was to turn it up, it's only there to tilt the hull, you can actually see that it's got a lot of rock on it. So therefore, when the boat's tilted on its side, it's going to turn a lot easier than if it's sitting flat. Especially if it's already a fairly flat boat. If it's already got rocker built into it, then it won't be a problem. But the more you lean it over to one side or tilt the hull, the quicker it is to be able to just spin around and turn like this. And I'll show you how you do that out on the water. Thanks. So here we've got a, uh, a boat just with a very slight arch in it. Um, it's reasonably flat. But even so, we can still just tilt that hull quite easily, even though it just sits nice and flat and stable. Um, just by just positioning ourselves in the boat, we have our knees firmly planted against the hull here, out, just out against the side, nice and bracing. I've got my bottom just against the seat here, and I'm sitting just in the stern of the boat. And I can just, by just pushing down on this knee or that knee, I can just tilt it quite easily. And it's not like it all tilts from here, from the hips down. Your upper body stays very straight, uh, and your lower body just moves the boat. So I can tilt this way, I can tilt that way, and I should still be keeping my upper body in line. Okay, so if I move along, just get some momentum up. I can just experiment with just how that feels to tilt. So I can just tilt it this way, or I can tilt it that way just by, and I notice it'll drift differently when I'm tilting one way or the other. So how can that help in turns? I'll get some momentum up here, I'll initiate a turn, I'll do a J stroke and then I'll use the tilt to actually help with that turn. So going along, initiate a turn, I tilt, I hold that, tilt, and I continue to turn until I'm ready to come out of it. Then I flatten the boat out and I continue along straight. So why is that so effective and why does that help? Well, when the bottom of the boat's fairly flat, it doesn't have much rocker, but as soon as you turn on its side, it will actually have a lot more rocker, so it'll just turn a lot easier. So by able to just tilt the boat one way or the other, and give it more rocker can make it more uh, easier to swim around. Thanks, that's it.